could Darth Vader survive without his suit? After being burned alive on Mustafar, Vader suffered extensive injuries, including burns to his lungs, eyes, ears and skin. In addition, Anakin lost his remaining three limbs in the duel with Kenobi. All accounted for, Anakin managed to just evade heart failure. However, his injuries accounted for a roughly 60% deduction in his Force ability. So with all things considered, was there a way for Vader to survive without his suit? Let's dive straight in. Shortly after Palpatine rescued his new apprentice, Vader was transported back to Coruscant in a medical capsule. Vader's new suit was likely being constructed at the same time, based on incoming medical reports from Palpatine's shuttle. Once inside the suit, Vader would only ever exist outside of the suit when in a back to tank or a pressurized meditation chamber. Vader felt a small sense of relief when existing in a back to tank, essentially the only place he would ever feel any sense of solace. The pressurized meditation chamber, however, allowed Vader extended periods of time without his helmet and mask. To expand on this, in the Shadows of the Empire book, between episode 5 and 6, Vader is in a hyperbaric chamber, naked and completely without his suit. Through meditation and will, Vader attempts to become stronger in the Force, to heal his broken body. Channeling his anger and physical pain, Vader became stronger with the Force. Vader opens the life-supporting chamber and attempts to breathe. He successfully does so. Vader feels joy, as a result however, he starts losing his connection to the dark side, subsequently having to close the chamber once again at risk of suffocation. This shows at the very least that towards the end of Vader's life, he could survive without the suit, but not be able to last very long. So tune into the dark side well enough and Vader could breathe momentarily without the suit. Any sense of joy, however, breaks his connection to the dark side and results in suffocation. Vader was truly stuck between a back to tank and a meditation chamber. Now, an integral part of Vader's suit is his mask. Because of Vader's damaged lungs, in order to survive, Vader breathed through a mobile life support system. A breathing tube ran from his mask and connected to the back of his suit. This allowed Vader to breathe. But as we've witnessed on Mustafar, his duel with both Ahsoka and Kenobi, plus in the comics, Vader could survive without his mask for a period of time. There is, however, a common theme with Vader when his mask is damaged, and that is his anger. So, to survive entirely without his suit, we need to dive into the potential life-preserving power of the dark side and the connection of the Sith to their anger through the Force. Heading to the final moments of The Phantom Menace, Darth Maul is reduced to arms, a head and torso. Maul survives the attack from Kenobi, reappearing later in the Clone Wars series. Now, Darth Maul survived his injuries by focusing on his hatred of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Kenobi! Rescued later by his brother, Savage Opress, on the junk planet Lotho Minor, Maul builds himself spider-like legs and regains his mobility. All the while, Maul was being kept alive by focusing on his hatred towards Kenobi through his extreme and unwavering connection to the dark side. Another great example of a Sith using the dark side of the Force to stay alive is Darth Sion from the Old Republic. Having been struck down in the Great Sith War, the Lord of Pain escaped death. With a body fractured and decomposing, Sion remained alive by clinging onto his pain, anger and hatred. His death only came about when he allowed himself to die by letting go of his pain and connection to the dark side of the Force. So, although a fictional concept, if Vader had let go of Anakin Skywalker and his past, and instead gave in to his pain and anger, like Darth Maul and Darth Sion, Vader could theoretically survive without his suit. Relying instead on his hatred towards Kenobi to keep him alive. It's been well established in the new canon that the Jedi can learn to heal wounds, a power the Sith cannot. 
But the will of the body to survive through anger and live beyond life-ending injuries is a skill the Sith can perhaps subconsciously embrace. That's likely how Anakin survived the immediate moments after his duel with Kenobi on Mustafar, but existence outside of his helmet and armour he could not, all the while the good resided in him. It's only when returning to the light in Return of the Jedi and removing his helmet does Anakin pass away, having severed his ties to the dark side and finally letting go of his anger. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe. Still undecided, there's plenty more on the channel. Either way, may the Force be with you.